What's up, bikes? I'm Allie, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Seniors, Friday is the last day to submit your application to speak at graduation. If you have any questions, contact Ms. Welch. If you're interested in joining the auxiliary dance team, there is a tryout packet posted on Schoology. All virtual tryouts will begin on May 4th. Audiophile is starting a summer program for free audiobooks. See Schoology for more information. We're starting a new segment at SVTV. Here's Justin with more information. Hey Vikes, SVTV is starting a new segment called The Hangout, where we will get pro sports athletes and public figures to get on a Google Hangout with us. We will ask them questions and may even have people watching on the stream ask questions also. In Vikes, we have our first guest on the show, Brad Keller, a pitcher from the Kansas City Royals. <laughs> Having a live stream at 7 p.m. Wednesday the 29th, where Brad Keller will be hanging out with us answering questions everyone wants to know. So make sure to mark your calendars and tune in Wednesday night for The Hangout. Check back here on Wednesday to see that Google Hangout. Now over to Josh with the weather after this quick commercial break. Oh, hey seniors. Normally this time, SVTV is shooting senior thank yous. Don't worry, we're still making senior thank yous, but this year, DIY. If you're interested in making your own video, you can view the link to a tutorial on the Class of 2020 Schoology page, or in your own government class. If you'd like to submit your senior thank yous, you can submit it to your government class, or email me at aaronmcgill at usd345students.com. All submissions are due May 15th, and remember, these are for graduation. That's all for me. Make sure to remember, it's always a great day to be a Viking. Good afternoon. There was a small band of precipitation this morning, and that produced 38 hundredths of an inch of rain at the Billard Airport, but some spots may have seen one to even upwards of two inches of rain right in the middle of that narrow band. So pretty impressive this morning, but we've got more rain chances to talk about for tomorrow. And actually, this is the severe weather outlook from the Storm Prediction Center showing an enhanced risk of severe weather across far southeast Kansas, a slight risk, that's the yellow shading, and then here in Topeka, we're kind of on the edge between the marginal risk in dark green and the general risk in light green. So what does that mean? Let's take a look at the picture future radar by tomorrow at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And this model shows the front already past our location with thunderstorms developing to our southeast. However, there is a slight chance that if the front moves a little bit slower that could increase our potential for severe weather this far northwest. I'm not overly concerned but just something to keep an eye on for tomorrow afternoon mainly. There's also the potential for another brief shower or thunderstorm coming in a little bit after sunset. These could have some gusty winds with them as well so we'll have to watch that closely. Just in general anytime from tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow evening it would be a good idea to stay weather aware. Then on Wednesday, the center of low pressure shifts to our northeast. And whenever you have a strong low pressure system to your northeast, 
that usually means it's going to be pretty windy. And check out these wind gusts on Wednesday, highest during the morning, gusting between 30 and 40 miles per hour, but still breezy during the afternoon, wind gusts of 25 to 30 miles per hour on Wednesday. And checking out the SVTV 7-day forecast, you can see that our temperatures stay pretty mild. Wednesday will be the coolest day with those windy conditions, a high in the mid-60s. And then right back to 70s as we end the week. There's a chance Friday or Saturday we could even touch 80 degrees. So some very warm weather. And then our next weather maker doesn't arrive until next weekend. So that is your latest weather forecast. Now, Allie, back to you. Thanks, Josh. That's all we have for today, Vikes. See you next time.